Well, it's Saturday morning. The weather was hampering me. I didn't go to the farmer's market. I picked up some uh, knives from the bake shop late yesterday afternoon. I'll put them in a picture in a few minutes. And the mailman just brought me this. This is a true combat knife. Has seen three tours of duty, heading to the fourth. The owner, the colonel at Fort Benning, wants the top part of this knife sharp. And of course, resharpen the whole knife. It's blunt here, you can see. He just wants the top edge of it as sharp as well. Okay. That'll give me uh, another project for today. I got to mail it back to Fort Benning. I spent some time at Fort Benning in the 60s. Here are the restaurant, I mean the bakery knives. And I got a lady just called me and said, I'm bringing some knives over to your house in about 15 minutes. We'll have to see what they look like. The lady came by with her knives. She's got two I never heard of before. And a nice Victoria Knox boner. Nice ticket. Nice outfit for knives. Might be the best, my opinion. Four forty-five. I'm just coming home from the bakery. In that box right there from the bakery is something extraordinary. It'll absolutely take your breath away. I'm not sure what they are. I mean the name of them. I'll show them to you in a minute. But we might have some knives in our box. Let's go check that out. The lady said she was going to leave some in the box. daughter was home so she might have rung the doorbell nothing in the box that's a good sign okay she brought them in the house looks like a gathering of knives in this bag mm, stand by i know there's some fish fillet knives in there here we go we got three nice dexter fillet knives we got this like ever sharp junk knife oh nada a saw blade knife, that's what I call them. A little teeny para and a Kershaw fish fillet knife with two fillet knives, a long one and a short one. Kershaw, a pretty cool knife. I don't think I have a sharp in one of those. For the absolute best the other day. Glory, big G, little L. Some fine tickets right there. A few tickets from Sunday. I wasn't expecting any knives today, but I got some. I'm working on all the stuff I got yesterday right now. They'll be ready in about an hour. I'll get back to you. Well, I'm on my way to pick up a few more knives on this nice sunny Sunday. Lady just called me and says, uh, looks like I'm a couple miles from where you live and I have some knives. Can you pick them up? I said, yeah, I'll be right over. I don't know what they are yet. Two or three, I think she said. Stand by. I got a nice Japanese looking knife. It says it's a Wahoo Stainless Steel Japan. 
And we have Dalstrom. Cool ticket. I like it. And we have a, I've never heard of this one. Like a big vegetable cleaver. Pretty nice looking, nice stuff. And one pair of scissors. KitchenAid. Okay. It's a good little Sunday. Late Sunday afternoon, it's produced another one. Remember the guy had the little skinny knife last week? I forget what kind it was. He uh, picked that up and dropped this off. The deer hunter. Okay. The Hampton side today, I went through the tunnel. Dropped off some knives and I'm, I'm on my way to pick up a, my favorite hatchet. A Grand Forks hatchet. I've been talking to this guy for four or five months. But I just never got on this side of the river to get it. But I'm on my way now. I got about 15 minutes to go. I like Grand Forks hatchets. We're here by New Penu Shipbuilding, where they build all the submarines and stuff. New Penu Shipyard. Or no, it might be called Ingersoll Rand or something now. I don't know what it is. But it's a big place. I can tell you that. Good gracious. I didn't never realize it was that big. Well, I'm at the butcher shop. There's a butcher shop knives. But my road trip knives, man alive. Look. I told you I was getting one of these. Grand Forks. That's a nice ticket. I said his wife was using it in the garden, cutting roots. A few little nicks right there. Other than that, it's in good shape. I need to clean it up a little bit. And now, look at these babies. Second stop. I don't think I've ever seen any of them before. It's called Berghoff, made in Belgium. Nice. I mean, these are nice taquitos right here. I like them. This fancy box. Sometimes boxes you get good things. I'll get back to you. Well, now we got two more stops, both pickups. I know one of them is going to be extremely, extremely good pickup. I'm not sure about this first one, but I know the last one at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront is going to be, I suspect, very nice. We're in the hilltop east or west shopping center right now wherever that whatever they call it i don't know stand by for more the third pickup were all saboteurs except for one some big sabot the whole family of saboteurs and one rock on and then there's this bag with glory in it Stand by, let's get them tickets out of there. Feels like 18 to me. Anyway, I feel them, I get 18. One shun bread knife, Wustoffs, another Rikon. I don't know what this is, I like it. A couple steak knives. And a little para of some sort, and a little uh, serrated knife. Okay, I'll be busy for the afternoon and tomorrow morning. Monday, nice as ever. Well.
wait late in the afternoon, but it was a good wait. Yesterday it was Sabbateers, today it's Shuns, 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 whatever you want to call them. A whole family of them. And some scissors. Shuns. I like them. Steaks, chefs, the whole family. And the Grand Forks is ready to go home tomorrow. The Grand Forks cleaned up nice. Nice ticket. Grand Forks hatchet. Hunter's axe, they call it. Okay. See you tomorrow.